Hello everyone, Michael here and welcome back to another vlog. Now, a lot of you guys in the last vlog, a lot of you guys suggested me to make this into like a lot of them. So I guess this is what we're gonna be doing from now on sometimes. And right now for today's vlog, I'm at the Calvert Marine Museum in Maryland. So we're gonna be vlogging about this. We'll probably split it up into two parts because there's a lot of stuff. So I'll upload one part today and then I'll upload the other part tomorrow, maybe even three parts, which then I'll upload them tomorrow and the day after that. So we're gonna go on ahead and sign and check ourselves in, but first, masks. Safety first, of course, with, uh, with the wave three of COVID starting. So without further ado, let's go ahead right in. So we're all checked in now. Um, now we're inside the museum. Go ahead. Um, let me just check something real quick with my family. See, so, yeah, I checked something. So, now the first stop is the stingray enclosure. See, yeah, there's also going to be a types of aquariums and um, old stuff, old fossils and stuff like that. So right here we have the well, not stingrays, rays. We have the rays here. So there they are. Now, what's the interesting thing? Even though these little guys may look like um, stingrays, they're actually normal rays, just like that guy. Only these guys are clear nose um, rays. They're clear nose rays. But that one, that one's a cow nose ray. So that's the difference. Even though they're the same kind, they're different types. So now this guy right here is an Atlantic ray and the guy over there, let me just get over there, um, right here, this guy is a Kano's ray and he's doing something that I don't know what. So there's pieces up in front is not his mouth, they are sketches of And uh, for most of you guys watching this are wondering what are those fish called? Those are look downs. And they can grow up to 19 inches. And they get their name because they always look like they're looking down that way. Um, now that we took a look at the rays, time to look at the skates. So these right here are the skates. They're babies. They only hatched like a year or so ago. And yeah, so you can tell the difference between a skate and a ray because as you can tell, um, that ray over there looks like a skate. And that also looks the same. But the difference is the tail. You see, theirs is kind of like pointed upwards and theirs is mainly like rounded and this one has like even fins at the back and if we look over here these are I forgot what these are called oh, I think these are skates yeah this is a skate um, laying an egg so another main difference between them is that rays give birth to live babies and skates give birth to babies in eggs or Purses. So this is what their egg looks like after it hatches. It looks like that. Well, that's how it looks like after it gets off its yolk sac. But it it bursts with this gigantic yolk sac. Then it gets slightly larger, and the yolk sac starts to get smaller, even more larger, until the yolk sac gets really small and becomes these little guys. So that's really cool, but now I'm already need to send a new one. So that was really interesting, but it's just gonna get even more interesting. Trust me, guys. So now we're getting to all the prehistoric stuff and Ice Age stuff. I a giant picture of whatever shell this is. But right here, or I get to be ready, guys. And it's really light on my face for some reason. <laughs> So yeah, what you just saw 
is this thing? Oh man, what is this so bright? Yeah, there we go. A, I think real life or cast Megalodon jaw. So this is actually real or cast, I don't really know. But yeah, just look at all those ravenous, ferocious teeth. Oh man, you do not want to get this thing too livid. Otherwise it will come and eat you. Well, technically you don't worry, have to worry about that anymore because, well, they're gone. All right, they're extinct, so don't worry. So here we have a Megalodon tooth. It's big as my hand. Crazy. Up there we have a light. Very cool. And right here, we have all sorts of various um, fossils that were found right here. Now, I'm not gonna show you all of these, but I am gonna just catch them on camera so you can go ahead and pause the video and read all of this if you like. But I'm just not gonna go through all of this because it'll just take way too long and then the video will just be way too long. But I will show some things too, like for example, that's a trilobite, anamites. Anamites are actually my, one of my favorite prehistoric creatures, but yeah, yeah, if you want, you can go ahead and pause the video up there and read them all if you like. Now right here, we have the period table, not, no, not the periodic table, the period, well, chart, not table. <laughs> that just makes me sound like a, like a dork. But of course, right there we have the, the longest lasting period. You can see all the blue circles. 3.8 billion years ago, the earliest evidence for life on Earth. So yeah, and yeah. So up there, that thing, that is a Janass chunk from the Northwest Territories in Canada, which is 4.1 billion years ago. Oh yeah. It's very, very old, but unfortunately, all things must come to an end. So yeah. The Precambrian period ends there and moves on to the Cambrian period, where the trilobite was first, well not recorded, but that's where the trilobite is from. I just talked about that a little bit long ago. Be then after that came the Orsidovian period, then the Silurian, the Dovian, the Conforbius, the Primian, which is when Demetrodons were. Demetrodons, um, they look like this. Okay, they look like that. Okay, you already did your first, ladies and gentlemen. They're basically spinosaurus, but with four legs. I mean, they walk on four limbs. Never. Then came the period, the Triassic period, with the first um, evidence of dinosaurs ever living. Then we have the Jurassic period. And if you're wondering what the heck this thing is, this is a Camarasaurus limb. So yeah, it's actually <laughs> smaller than I imagined, but Camarasaurus was a gigantic sauropod in the Jurassic period, so yeah. Next we have the all famous Cretaceous period. And there you can see Tyrannosaurus rex tooth, big as a banana that is, and a, <clears throat> I forgot what this dinosaur is called though. Uh, I don't really know. Um, next, we have the Pelocene period, the Eocene, the, <clears throat> the Oligocene, the Miocene, which, um, which was when the Megalodon died out. Then we have the Pliocene, the Plesostine, and Right now, we are in the whole sign period in the present day. And up there, we have a mastodon skull from the Ice Age. Let me just see if I can get a camera angle up on that. All right, so just a second. So let me just lift. So there you can see a clear vision. 
I'm all the way down here, guys. Let's bring the camera back down. <laughs> My arms are now really tired. Let me just bring this back up again. See, I got the camera down from way up there. Now this next exhibit, let me just do something real quick. There we go. So this next exhibit is this. Now this is the Calvert Cliffs, where they found that Megalodon skull from before. Yeah, that's cool. So yeah, this is an exact replica of that. Now, I actually did a video on Caliber Cliffs um, a couple of months ago. It's called Exploring Plant Pot Park. You can go check that out if you want. Now, speaking of the Megalodon, we are in the dark zone of the ocean. We have this guy here. Hey, yo. How you doing, boy? So, yeah, this is a complete. Megalodon replica. Remember, not real replica. So these are the inner machinations of the gills, which is pretty cool. And let me just extend the camera again so we can get that cool angle again. Nope. Oh, we're getting higher. So yeah, that's the highest the camera can go. Okay, there we go. That's the top of the Megalodon. That right there is a small little whale that the Megalodon likes to eat. Okay, let me raise up the whale there. Yeah, there we go. There you can see it's getting a lot better. For stuff, like I said, it's really hard to hold on to that. Let me just bring the camera back in again. Back to normal. There we go. Now, right here, we have a prehistoric crocodile and what I like to call <laughs> prehistoric seagull. See, I look pretty vicious. You can tell I look pretty vicious with all those sharp teeth and stuff. But yeah, moving on from that, we have a nice little myosine sea cow or myosine dugon, which is also really cool. And right here we have an Ambulotus skull, which is an early, um, early land animal, very prehistoric. And right here we have a real life whale skull. Yeah, that's right. This is the rest of the whale. This is a real whale skull, not a replica. I repeat, this is not a replica. So yeah, as you can see, it's emboated and cast, but all this, that's real, not replica. And in here is the archeological room, the restoring room. So there you can see they're also working on another partial whale skull. And over there you got a little comic there. <laughs> it's very funny. And now we're moving on to the aquarium and the real fish. Here we just got a little TV, push the play, I'm not gonna push that out because I don't wanna get sick with corona. So yeah, wash your hands. So right here, we have an oscillated moray. He's right there, hey dude. And another one. And there used to be four BC stars in there, but I don't know where they went. Either they died or they got put in another enclosure. But yeah, here we got a bunch of just your regular everyday fish. We got spots in there. Let me see if I can spot one. <coughs> hey! Yeah, sorry, that was really good. Um, doesn't seem to, can't really seem to find one at the moment. Um, let me see if we can find a striped bass. I know they're in there somewhere. Um, ooh, look at the gold scales on that one. Mmm, it's pretty. Right, I'm not gonna tell you all the names of those fish. But one more I will tell you is the pig fish. Now I don't know where he is, but he's somewhere in there, trust me. 
Oh, <laughs> here's my sister, by the way. Say hello, hello. Maria. Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's a little, can't blame her, she's only three. But here, somewhere in here, we have seahorses. So, oh, look, there they are. There they are. Let me see if I can zoom in. Right, yeah. So you, like, can you, can you see it really, guys? Oh, yeah, there he is. Oh, there's one. Let me just zoom out. So yeah, there's one right now. And back there, you can see a krill. There's a krill on, oh, here's my sister again. Say hello. Hello. So yeah, she's a little bit shy, so anyways. But there we have another, um, another seahorse. Now there are a lot of krill in here. There's another krill. Oh, krill bear. Krillity krill. Oh my gosh, I almost, almost crashed into my sister there. So right here, we have a bunch of American, American um, oysters. No, just give me a second. So yeah, sorry, my sister was getting in the way. So um, right here, we have a bunch of American oysters. I'm not gonna talk about that too much. Here we have little fishies here. A bunch of mummy chogs and Atlantic, um, I forgot what, what else is called. But yeah, we're trying to go through these fairly quickly right now because my mom wants me to show something outside. Here we have um, fish spoons names I don't know. And there used to be a turtle in here somewhere. I just don't think it's in there in the moment for some reason. Here we have some more fish. There used to be a catfish in here, but he's gone as well. Uh, yeah. For some reason, most of the fish are gone in this place. But here we have moon jellies. Moon jellies. Look at them. Yeah, they're changing color because of the lights. Don't think that they do that in real life by themselves. Here we have a blue crab. Say hello to the camera, crab. Um, okay. I don't think he really wants to say hello. He likes dancing with my sister for some reason. I don't know. But here we have a striped birdfish. Um, yeah, definitely not a pufferfish. Wait, what? H hello, but how did you get in there, Mr. Mr. Lionfish? How did you get in there? Hello? You're supposed to be over there, not the scorpion fish. Well, I guess you are kind of cousin, but seriously, what are you doing? He looks guilty, right? He admits it. He admits that he jumped out of there and swam all the way into here yeah go back to where you belong okay and speaking of scorpion fish there's one posing as a coral now these are very sneaky don't step on them it will be bad but yeah see you later i guess get back to your home but here we have a northern snakehead he's way up there there you can see him right there yeah, it looks to be that he's blind, actually. Strange. Oh, the turtle's finally going for a swim. Usually he's just sitting up there. But no, he's actually going and doing exercise and swimming. We also got a bunch of zebra mussels in there. Yeah, and Mr. Turtle. Oh, man. He hasn't been swimming in months. And this is where all the lionfish are supposed to Oh, my gosh. Look how big he is. That is the biggest lionfish I've ever seen in my life. He's so huge. How is he so huge? Someone please tell me. Yeah, here are all the other ones. He should be part of them as well. But here, we also have just a bunch of marsh here. And this is my favorite part. The otters. Look at him. He's in there. See him, he's right there. Oh, this is my favorite part in the entire museum. Look at him, he's doing something. I don't know what though. But yeah, they got a nice little home here. They get fed. They also get trained for survival instincts. It's, it's really the best, guys. You should also come down here as well. Come down here as well. Learn some more things for yourself. Learn something new every time I come here. But yeah, just need to me a second. 
So yeah, that's gonna be to it for today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, guys, smash that like button. Otherwise, this guy will come and sting you, all right? So you better subscribe, or this guy will appear at your house and sting you while you're washing your hands. So yeah, subscribe or he will get you. But yeah, um, I'll pull this video up today and you'll see part two tomorrow.